Hi, my name is Michael and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a website banner in Photoshop uh, CS5 and this free website tutorial is brought to you by freewebsitetricks.com Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is open up Photoshop So go ahead and open up Photoshop Okay, once Photoshop is open uh, let me go ahead and open up the file I already designed just to show you what the end result is going to look like. So this is a, a little banner that I made for my new website, freewebsitetricks.com. Alright, so I'm going to just kind of show you what I did to create this and hopefully that will help you uh, to create your own website banners. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with a new file. We're going to go to File and New. We're going to label this Web Banner. And for the dimensions, for the width, I have 300 by 106 and 72 for the resolution since it's for web. And click OK. So you get the new window. I'm going to take that off. Okay, so we got this is our blank canvas right here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the word free. So free, all caps. I'm going to highlight that, grab my selection tool, I'm going to grab it in the corner and hold down my shift key and just make that a little bit bigger. Uh, hold on, I grabbed it wrong. I'm going to grab it in the corner, start dragging, hold the shift key and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's a pretty good size there. I'm going to hit the selection tool and hit apply. And then I'm going to grab this little box here right in the center and just pull this over just to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we'll go with that. I'm going to click on the text tool and it asks if I want to apply the transformation. I'm going to hit apply. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font on this on free and I already have the font that I want so I'm going to type that in. Alright, and let me stretch this out again. So I'm going to stretch this out and put it where it belongs. Okay, so if you notice on this one that I already created, it's leaning over to the right. So now it's selected. What I'm going to do is go to Edit. I'm going to go to Transform and click on Skew. And I'm going to grab this center handle right, right here on the top center. And then if you notice the arrows, you get a right and left arrow icon. What you're going to do is just go ahead and drag that over to the right. And then it's going to give it like a little leaning effect. And I'm going to hit my selection tool and hit apply. Okay, once I have that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create that. Uh, let me go ahead and start with the website tricks.com. So let's go ahead and put the W. So we're going to select the uh, type tool. I'm going to pick my color. I already know what color I want to, so let me go ahead and type that in. Hit OK. And I'm going to create a new layer by just clicking on there and type W. Okay, so now that I got my W, I'm going to grab it in one of the corners and just pull it and hold my Shift key down so that way I can size it. Let me go ahead and move this down here. Get my type tool, hit apply, select it. I'm going to pick the right font here. And my font is LXCITA. And that's the one there. Okay, so now I got my font that I want for the W. I just put that in place with my arrow keys. It's about right there. Okay, and then I'm going to finish typing out the rest of the word. Um, so the website tricks, the, the rest of it's spelled out with a different font. So, all right, so let me go ahead and just create a new layer. And everything's in caps except for the .com. So, okay, so let me go ahead and select this text here and then I'm gonna get the right font. So let me just get this. And there it is. All right, so now that I got that, let me go ahead and resize this. OK, 
there, and that should be good right there. And let me hit apply. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did with the, the free, how I have it leaning to the right. I'm gonna do that with this text here. So I'm gonna go to edit while it's selected. Go to edit, transform and skew. And then I'm just gonna grab this handle here. When I get that icon, the right and left icon, I'm gonna drag it over to the right and just make it lean over just like the word free. Okay. So I'm going to hit my selection tool to accept that and hit apply. And let me get out of that. Okay, so it's coming along. It looks pretty close to my original one. I'll move this in a little bit closer. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to drag it out. And then I'm going to go and drag it down to make it a little bit taller. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create that little bar behind uh, website. Uh, tricks.com and the way I did that was I just selected the um, rectangle tool and just go ahead and draw a rectangle just like this and what I'm gonna do is select the layer over here and bring it all the way to the bottom so it lays behind everything all right and then you hit edit transform path and we're gonna do skew again we're gonna go to the right so it matches the free and the website tricks. And I'm gonna accept that, hit apply. And then for the color, I'm gonna come over here and it's already uh, gray. And the reason why it's gray is because I didn't change the color over here when I uh, picked the rectangle tool. But what I'm gonna do is just double click here and I'm gonna type in the color because I know what color I want there. Okay, and then once I get that, I'm gonna hit okay. So next, I'm going to select the, the word tricks.com and I'm going to go up here to select the color. I'm going to change that to white. Hit OK. And it's pretty close to what we have up here now. It's getting really close. Um, so we're going to get the word free. We're just going to go ahead and apply the, um, the same look that I have up here. Uh, the way you do that is I'm going to click on the layers panel. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to pull up the layer styles. I'm going to hit gradient overlay. And that's pretty much what I have up on the top. And I'm also going to hit stroke. I'm going to go and click on stroke so I can change the settings in here. And right now it's at three pixels. So I'm going to change it to one pixel. So now you can see it looks pretty much like the top. Uh, it matches pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and get out of there. And then I want to select the W. And on the W, I'm going to apply a shadow. So what I'm going to do is double click on here and click on shadow, which is drop shadow right here. And I need to get the values in here correct. So we're going to go ahead and, and change this to 22%. And we're going to do 30 right here for the angle. And then 2, 0, and 2. And that's what I got up there. So I'm going to come over here to the W and I'm going to right click and I'm going to put copy layer style. And then what I'm going to do is uh, click on the website tricks.com and I'm going to right click and I'm going to put paste layer style. So that's now I have the gradient. It matches on both. Pretty much looks like this up here. Um, let me check something real quick. This looks a little darker up here. So I don't know if I Miss something on my notes. Let me see here. I think this is a different. Yeah, this is a different. This is a darker. So um, I got the wrong color down here, but it's an easy fix. Let me just go ahead and match that real quick. So grab the W with the text tool, and I'm going to go into the color, and I'm just going to paste that right in. Okay. And do the same thing for this part that finishes up for website so it matches up real nice. Let me grab that and paste. Okay, so now it should look a little bit closer. Let me shrink this one down. View. We're going to go to um, actual pixels. Take that down. All right, so it looks pretty close. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a smoke effect back here. 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that real quick. And the smoke effect's a little tricky, so it might not look exactly like this. I kind of tinkered with it for a while until I got the look that I wanted. So um, if you decide to do a smoke effect or something like that behind your your graphic, um, you might want to just play with it until you get it to uh, you know the way you want it to look. All right, so to apply that smoke, I actually went to the brushes and I have a brush called uh, Smoke. So I uh, select this right here, this little tab here with the arrow, go down and select Smoke and hit OK. And then the smoke that I used is 451. And there's some values over here on, under my brushes. If your brush window isn't showing, you just go under Window and hit Brush, or you can hit F5. Okay, so I got 451 selected. I got an angle. Let me change this value here. The size, I'm going to do a 175. My angle is going to be negative 90, and that should be good. So let me go ahead and I'm going to create another layer, and that layer I'm going to label it Smoke. Okay, and that, that's going to be in the back, um, so that way it doesn't go over anything, the words or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to match it up kind of like I do on the top. I'm going to click it once, and there is a smoke. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stretch this out over here this way. I'm going to stretch this out a little over here this way, just so it kind of matches what I have on the top. And just like rotate this up a little bit, just to try to make it look like what I got up on the top. All right, I'm gonna hit apply, that looks pretty decent. And then I need to change some values on that. So I'm gonna open up the layer style. And for the layer style on this, we're gonna hit gradient. And I have overlay. And we got a negative 90 on this one. And that's that. It looks a little different from the one I got on the top, but like I said earlier, I kind of messed around with it for a while until I got it the way I want it. I'm probably come in here and just lower the opacity a little bit. And it looks a little bit closer um, to what I have on the top. So hit OK. And that's pretty much it. Um, they're pretty close to looking like each other. Uh, hopefully that helps you out to uh, use some of the tools in Photoshop so you can create yourself a, a nice little web banner. Um, other than that, that's it. Um, have fun playing with Photoshop and thanks for watching my video. And please check out my website, freewebsitetricks.com. Um, I'm going to be adding more videos and, and things as I go. This is actually my first video, so thanks for watching and have a good one.